Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Adam here. Uh, so today, I decided, first of all, actually, you know what? I want to apologize. I haven't released a video in like freaking three months, and I'm sorry about that. Um, got a lot of stuff going on, uh, including coming out with an album uh, at the beginning of next month. And uh, it takes a lot of work when you're more or less doing it on your own. I have had some help um, from some people, and those people will be properly credited uh, once the album comes out. It'll be on there. And uh, today, I wanted to just kind of show you some tips and tricks on what I do as far as cleaning up my tracks go. Uh, a lot of the work uh, I'm not going to end up doing as far as mixing and mastering goes. I have a guy for that. Um, he does a really, really great job, much better than I can do. He uses some different tools than what I use. Uh, so today what we're going to do, we're going to shrink this back down here. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I use uh, Adobe Audition CS6. Um, it's a great program. It's been out. Uh, you know, I've been using it ever since uh, it was cool at it. Um, and that was <laughs> like 10 years ago. So I'm just so used to it. So I just stick with this program. Um, and, uh, you know, it's crazy. Even after all this time, I still keep learning stuff about it. All right. So anyways, we got this vocal track right here and, uh, it looks terrible. It's all over the place. As you can see, uh, we have some noise here, uh, from the headphones that the mics picked up. I, I like to turn it up really loud. Um, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it, but let's just play here. You can't really hear, it, but there's noise there. All right, so the first step is we got to eliminate this noise. Um, what we're going to do, I'm just going to copy a little tiny section of that noise. All right, and uh, we're going to right click here and we are going to go to capture noise print. Bam, that's capture. We're going to click off of that because we want the whole thing to end up, you know, getting the noise reduction that we're going to do. So go, we go to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. Bam, uh, as you can see right here, that is what it captured. We're just gonna hit apply. Um, I know this does a really, really great job. I'm more or less cons concerned with getting rid of the noise over the actual singing parts uh, versus getting rid of it during the, the silence because as you can see right here, uh, it still gets a little bit and I'm just gonna end up silencing that. Uh, I don't know what this was, probably cough. <clears throat> Yeah, a little cough clearing the whole throat before you start singing. Uh, so we're going to go, now what we're going to do is uh, to continue cleaning this up. We're going to go, let's just see what that is. I like to keep the breaths in. So that's a breath right there, but there's a little spike right here. All right, so we're going to highlight all that. We're going to right click. We're going to go to silence. Bam. That part should be silence. It's probably another cough right here in the middle. Yeah, me just clearing my throat. Before I start up the next part, I ended up doing this all in one take. And I actually haven't listened to this yet, so I don't know how good it is. But it felt really good when I sang it, so I'm probably going to stick with it. All right, we're going to clean up the rest of that. Silence. Okay, good. Now, as you notice, this track is all over the place, right? Um, so it's probably going to sound a little unbalanced because uh, when you look at my guitar track here, it's pretty even except for a nice loud part here that comes in towards the end. So we want to balance that out a little bit. There's a great easy tool here on Adobe. You go to effects and then, uh, well, my mouse is dying. Okay, go to special and then we're going to go to vocal enhancer. All that really does is it just kind of lines up the track a little bit. So we're going to wait for that to process. We'll be back in 20 seconds. Take a little vape break in the meantime. All right, so we're back. Look at this beautifully lined up track volume wise. There's a little something right here. I don't know what this is. It might be like a weird something with my voice. I might end up just silencing it. Let's see. It was just a little spike. It was probably a clip. I'm going to leave it there. It doesn't sound like it's anything crazy. Okay, good. So now we have a pretty much a, a nice cleaned up track here. Next, we're gonna put on an equalizer. There's a great built-in one here in the 30 band. Lead vocal, presence, and clarity. Uh, very, very minor EQ effect. Just kind of separates it out. Uh, you wanna have an EQ on all of your tracks. Um, 
That way you just kind of have them separated and they just don't all sound like one big mush. All right, so we applied that. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do a multi-band compressor. I just like using the um, the Popmaster preset that's in here. Um, it, it does a great job. So we'll be back in another 20 seconds. All right, we're back again. So look at that, bam. And it's uh, nicely capped off at negative one decibel, so we're not going to get any um, any clipping in this track. Uh, it's turn it up as much as it can go. All right, so we have that. Now uh, I like to have a little bit of reverb. I have a preset that I've made. Go to reverb here, full reverb. This is really all about preference. Uh, I used to use um, a preset in here. Uh, which I believe was one of these medium concert hall ones. It was at like 25 or 30% reverberation. Um, the guy that does my mastering for me, um, he's done one song for me so far. It was at, you know, the uh, the original one. He says it's just too much. It kind of drowns out my voice. That track, I'm going to leave it in there uh, just because it was so much work and I would actually have to go back and redo the whole vocal track on that. Um, but anyways... Let's get back on point here. So I turned it down to about 10, 10%. I'm basically trying to just, I'm not actually fully mixing the song because the guy uh, is not just mastering it for me, which is usually how it goes. He's going to actually do some mixing. I'm just trying to take off a big chunk of the workload is with the mixing because um, he's going to go ahead and he's going to replace my drum tracks out. Uh, I did a Fruit Loops one. He's going to go through, he's going to take that and then he's got his own sounds. Uh, from a real live drum kit that he has. I don't have a real kit. So he took a real kit and um, recorded his actual stuff so it actually sounds real. Um, being that I'm doing this whole album and writing all of the tracks, um, programming it is the best way is I don't have a real kit. So uh, eventually, hopefully, I will get one when I have the moolah. So uh, if you like to see me have that, go ahead and click that little support button down there and uh, donate some money. I would not mind at all. It would definitely just all go towards uh, my music uh, making here. All right, so when you add the reverb, it brings it down a little bit. It, it does kind of misalignment, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not uh, mad about that because you know what? These parts right here are supposed to be quieter, and this part right here is supposed to be louder. So let's see what this sounds like. I'm just going to play a little snippet just to, you know, give you a little clue. So part where it really kind of winds up here near the ending. So, um, by the way, this song is called Lullaby. I believe I'm going to make this the last song in the album. I have not taken a look at all of the songs that I have for this album yet and listened all the way through. I'm going to do that once uh, I get everything back from mastering and, and decide then on the exact order of, you know, where the songs are going to go. So here we go. Let's take a listen. Open your eyes and dream today. All right. Pretty good, not not that bad, right? Uh, we're gonna do something real quick. We're just gonna do some un undos. I wanna show you what it sounded like before. So here's the original track. Let's go through, let's see what it sounded like before all that. Your eyes and dreams. So there was that. We're gonna go back through here. Just uh, redo everything. Redo it. Redo. 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 I should really just use the <laughs> shortcut. Okay, there we go. All right, one more time, just for comparison of the difference we just made. Now, obviously, this is not mixed. Okay, keep in mind, it's not mixed. It's not mastered. The vocal track right now is like way louder than the rest of the thing because I just did all this and the volume changed. So. 
Um, here we go. In your eyes and dream today. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped you out um, a little bit here. Um, this has come with many years of working with Adobe Audition and prior to that, cool edit. Um, even after all this time, I still don't know everything about this program. There's still so much more I'm sure I could learn. Um, this is just uh, some basic stuff that I do to clean it up before I send it to my guy. Uh, who will be using a couple different programs. He uses Fruit Loops. Um, he uses Reason. Um, I believe he also uses Logic as well. Um, so this is just what I do on my end, just to clean it up, make it a little bit easier. He's going to do some extra stuff. Um, if you have any uh, anything you'd like to add to this, uh, any other advice to other people, uh, please post it down below in the comments. Um, if it helped you out, hey, give me a, a thumbs up on the video. Uh, if you know someone that might be helped by this as well, feel free to share it. Uh, if you got any questions for me, feel free to ask. I will do my best to respond in a timely manner. And um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.